quite simply cut out your pocket positioning pick up your front piece turn it over and place your pattern piece on the top like this mark the pocket ends like this now I'm going to take a ruler and just draw across it and on the other side as well you also want to mark the center of the pocket here that's quite important what you want to do is to position your piece for your pocket on top so that you have got if I roll this back here so that it's right in the center and you've got plenty on either side and on the end so that it's totally even and once you've done that you flip it over and you put two pins in one there and one there it's all nicely marked so the next thing to do now is for me to stitch with the um, stitch length one so really really small all the way around Now I've got this sewn on both sides as you can see if you then fold this and now this is quite important you have got to cut through the middle straight through the middle so you just snip it so you've got the correct position if you want this in a little bit more detail go and watch the messenger bag um, where I explain this all so now we're going to the other end but and this is really important you must 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 not cut all the way to the end but you are putting in an angle like this so that we can fold that away in a minute so we're cutting all the way down really cut into the corner don't be like scared or anything if you're using stitch length one it should be absolutely fine you can see this is what it would look like and we do the same on the other side push your lips into that gap so your lips are now sitting inside yeah they're tucked in they're going upwards and when I turn this over you can see on the outside you've got a beautiful pocket right to to make sure that this can't move anywhere I've put a needle in here and a needle in there to just hold this baby in place then you turn this over and this is where it gets easy it's not hard at all guys don't be frightened put the zipper teeth exactly on the middle like that and then take a pin and pin it to the lip look like that okay see it's this is what it looks like we're not really concerned about this being now totally even over that we don't want to sew it anywhere but to the lips let's go you want to move your needle position all the way over to the left Place it under the sewing machine and simply sew it on. Now I can just move my lips back into position. So, you know, they have to go upwards. So once you do that, 
just push them in there. So it'll sit in perfect position, your zip, because you've already placed the zip in the right position, okay? So this is how you do it. And then before you do anything else, you want to sew across here so that this is tightly in place. To make this pocket I've used thicker top stitching thread and when you do that it's really important that the tension is really high because otherwise you get like a really loopy look um, and I wouldn't do this top stitching on anything else uh, where it's visible from both sides because you are on a household machine going to end up with some form of loop and so on household machines it's important to take your time. I haven't speeded this up so you can actually see how slowly I do this stuff, you know, and I've been sewing for 25 years. There are times when you can go really fast and then there are times where you need to take your time. So now I've sewn this in, all I have to do is basically pull these threads through to the other side and then I'm going to sew them away. So I've got them all to this side and so you don't see a beginning or an end. So all I have to do is sew these away and I'm going to do that with a hand stitching needle. I can then also just cut my zip off, I don't need that anymore, I can cut it on both sides. And then... <laughs> Um, I need my lining. It's all starting to look a bit messy. Looks like a sewing room now, I tell you. This is all like stuff, stuff everywhere. So now I take my lining, okay, and that has to go onto this pocket. So the easiest bit is to put, put it onto the lower part first. We're going to sew this on, fold it down like this, and then we're going to attach it to the top. So you've got one seam line here, fold it down, attach it to the top, and then, obviously, all we have to do is, wait a minute, just sew down the sides, on both sides, and the pocket's closed, and it's perfect. And if you would like to make your own little dangly bit to go onto your bag, I've tried it. It's not perfect, but you can find the link to that on my project page on my website. And of course, there are many more bags that you could try out with this one pattern. It's very versatile and comes in three different options. So I hope to see you there and thank you for watching.